Welcome to Tammy's Travel Tales. So today I want to talk about some funny medications I've come across on my travels. In Bali a few years ago, uh, I was running a retreat facilitator training and uh, one of my trainees started to feel a bit unwell in the stomach, just uh, nauseated. So I asked our uh, cook in the kitchen would he mind to pop down to the chemist to get something uh, for her to settle her stomach? And, uh, you know, she's a bit green, but she was she was hanging in there and it's always good to kind of get things as soon as possible, nip it in the butt. So uh, off he went on his scooter and he came back and he had this medication, which was called In Vomit 8. And he explained to her, while well, she was trying not to vomit, that it's to keep the vomit in. There's eight tablets, but he's like in vomit, you know, for keeping the vomit inside you. So uh, anyway, it did work. I used it myself on several occasions afterward. It did keep the vomit in and it just had me thinking, why don't we just call medications what they are? Because I've got a pretty extensive uh, first aid kit I take on my travels, trying to cover every eventuality, which is not really possible. And of course, people take their own medications if, if they have them when they travel. But because of the amount of... Uh, supplies I have to take and sometimes my baggage limit depending where we're going is only 15 kilos I often have to get rid of the packaging and the information leaflets now in this era of technology that's mostly okay because I can just google if I don't know what it is if it's an antibiotic or um, you know something for allergies or most of the medications I know but some of them the names are so obscure, the medical names are so obscure on the on the sleeve that you just wouldn't really know what they are. The other one that I came across in Morocco was I had a bit of a uh, funny tummy and one of my favourite travel medications is buscapan. So, and I just, as soon as I start to feel a twinge of nausea or get that sort of cramping sensation, I just take one of those and it just knocks it, that's it. It's such good medication and it doesn't constipate you or give you all this other stuff. So I went into the chemist and I was trying to explain to the woman, you know, that I had this sort of spasm cramping going on. And um, so anyway, she found this medication and she gave it to me and it was called Spasbon, S-P-A-S-F-O-N. And she told me it was for when you have a bit of a spaz. And um, since I have been known to have a bit of a spaz, I thought that it was a very appropriate medication for me to use in several different occasions. So anyway, um, I'd love to hear if you've come across any funny uh, medications uh, in your travels, but really, why can't we just call them what they are? It would make it a lot easier. Alrighty, have a great day.